Hey fans, welcome to the 2013 Lake Erie College Storm Football Preview Show. I'm Jason Tarada, joined by head football coach Mark McNelly, who is back for year number seven at the helm of the Storm. And coach, first of all, thanks for joining us. Uh, before we get into the 2013 season, let's take a, a brief look back at the 2012 year. Uh, you know, a slow start for the Storm with a couple of close losses there, and then a, a nice stretch in the middle where we won three out of four games, but then the season ended on a, on a down note. Um, what do you think the keys are to the, developing a consistency uh, from beginning to end throughout the season? Well, you know, last year we had a lot of injury situations that came upon, you know, started out fairly well and then had some injuries that really put some young guys out onto the field. And I think the overall goal with the young program is to develop the depth so when those injuries and situations come about that you're better prepared to handle them. Uh, you know, a silver lining from all that is you enter the season with a ton of returners, almost 50 players who, who gained pretty positive playing experience last year. A uh, number of key starters returning on each side of the ball. So the lumps last year hopefully translate into W's this year. Well, we certainly think that there are going to be some backups or some, some battles in camp for some positions for some guys that were hurt that return and some guys that you know took their place and now they're all battling for one spot. So we think the competition shock should bring everyone's game out a little bit. and. Uh, we're excited about the group of guys that we're coming in. Hopefully it's a deeper group than it's been in the past. Now let's take a look at uh, you know the offensive side of the football where uh, last year a couple of uh, young freshman running backs really emerged to kind of spark the offense, and there's a talented group uh, on the outside. and Young guys played up front on the offensive line, but three of those guys are, are back this year. So everywhere you look, th there's a good mix of guys with some experience. Yeah, we think that's, I think it's a good group on offense. We've had a, a large group of guys stay up on campus this summer and been working on their own. And uh, we think the offense has a potential to, to, to throw a lot at people as far as position groups, uh, multiple back sets, um, do some things that uh, will hopefully be hard to prepare for. Um, up on the offensive line, you have some experience going back, like you talked about, some guys that were thrown into the fire last year as young kids who got a whole lot better. And then you get Mike Price going back as a, as a fifth-year senior. Um, at the running back spot, you mentioned the two freshmen that played so well last year. Uh, we hope we have a few more of those even in the coming in the camp this year behind those guys. Um, and then I think Brandon Gallagher has really stepped up this summer and had just an unbelievable summer as a quarterback and a leader. And uh, we're hoping that he does some big things. He played well in that stretch you talked about last year in the middle of the year, and I think has really developed himself as a leader. So I think that's a uh, something that we may have missed a little bit last year. Yeah, we mentioned the, the freshman running backs last year. Uh, Anthony Bilal and Brandon Phoenix combined for 1,300 yards. And, you know, when called upon because of injury, uh, T. Elias had a 100-yard rushing game uh, in the win over Walsh. So plenty of depth in the backfield. Yeah, with running backs, we, we feel like we can throw a lot of things at people. Um, some of our wings that are guys that are potentially wings that have been hurt and banged up in years past can also jump into the backfield. Um, it, we think that part of our team is deep and talented. Uh, on the outside, Tommy Jackson will have the ability to play both the slot receiver and the wide out. Shane Van Flatteren um, really had a big spring. Um, you know, Schickler played last year, uh, really banged up all year long, so we're hoping he can come back. Now looking on the other side, at, de at the defensive unit, uh, you know, three key guys jump out right away for the three top tacklers uh, come back from a year ago. Uh, Tanner Wells, an all-conference. Uh, performer last year and preseason all Ohio this year. Uh, Marcus Rogers almost 100 tackles. Uh, and Nick Kirshner from the safety spot uh, had 75 stops last year. Uh, add in uh, Kyle Hurth who led the team in sacks and a lot of veterans uh, both up front and in the middle and at the back end of the defense. Well it's a, it's, it's a more experienced group for sure. Last year we threw them out there and um, they had a birth by uh, fire a little bit. There was a, you know, a lot of young guys in a brand new system. Now they know the system hopefully inside and out. I think we'll run to the football. I think we'll play a little bit more pressure oriented with all the guys in the secondary coming back, both that were banged up last year and were healthy and now coming all back into one group. Um, we really feel like we'll be better in the back row. This year we want to be able to get after people, move the front, um, be more active. Not necessarily blitz more, but be more active and take advantage of our speed. And um, the guys you talked about run well. I think across the board, all 11 guys on defense will be guys that run very well. So we're hoping to, to do it with speed. One of the things you probably haven't had to worry too much about in the last four years was the kicking game. Um, with Sam Marcotte emerging as one of the top kickers in the league for the last couple of years, but he's obviously moved on to graduation, so it's going to be a wide open race there. Uh, what do you look for when you have uh, in that special teams area? Well, you know, special teams as well as anything on the field is guys that you can count on, count on in key situations. Um, it is going to be a wide open competition at the at the uh, kicking spot. We don't have a true favorite coming into camp. 
A um, couple guys that were on the roster last year, a couple newcomers at the punting spot. You know, Tanner Wells can do it and has proven he can do it in the game situation. Um, I don't know that we want him back there, but he is awful good. We also have David Bajald in the in the in the in the fold, who's uh, was recruited here originally to be just a punter. Uh, I, I have great faith that we'll find those guys. Um, it's going to take some hard work and put them in some pressure situations in camp and see who flourishes. All right, coach. Let's finish things off with a quick discussion about the schedule. Uh, 2013 again presents just like any other year in the GLIAC a tough, challenging slate. We'll start with our traditional non-conference rivalry game with Gannon, the battle for the Ship's Wheel Trophy to start the season. Uh, but after that, a road trip to Ferris State, home game with Wayne State, another road trip up to Michigan and Saginaw, and then back home uh, to face a very talented Ashland team here at home. So the early going is going to be a great test for your team. Well, it's, it's been that way from the beginning, and I guess we wouldn't have it any other way. Um, you know, it's... The schedule maker makes the schedule and we show up and play them. You know, the Gannon game we will not look beyond. Um, they got us last year in a game where we thought we were the better football team and we got to go out and prove differently. Um, go on and play in those powerhouses on the road or having Wayne State come here. You know, it's got to be a focused team effort and, 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 and rise above. And the schedule is what the schedule is and we're going to play every one of them the same way and um, go out and put our best foot forward and hopefully um, put, a, you know, put a great effort out on the field and let, let the cards fall where they fall. All right, that's head football coach Mark McNelly. The Storm kick off the 2013 season on Thursday night, September the 5th, Jack Britt Memorial Stadium in Painesville. The battle for the Ship's Wheels Trophy against the Gannon Golden Knights. 7 o'clock kickoff follows all season long right here on LakeErieStorm.com. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this season. Ray John.